We are here inside of InDesign and I would like to show you how you can fix broken links. So this document that I have just here, everything is currently okay and it contains five images. I have my links panel open just here. Window links is where you can find that. And you can see that the condition of everything right now is great. I'm not seeing any warning signs. So for example, sack of beans, this guy just here, is this file just here. The little icon in the upper left corner of this file, of this image, is currently this little chain link icon. When you see that icon, InDesign's letting you know everything is okay. It knows where this file lives on disk, everything looks great. Okay, so let's close this file up. By the way, that file was this file just here, and the five images contained within that InDesign file live within this images folder just here. So I'm gonna break things right now. I'm just gonna change that name from images to images one. So I've renamed this folder and let's open up our InDesign file. Immediately InDesign's letting us know that there are five broken links. It doesn't know where these pictures live anymore. So I'll just choose okay. And you can see here in the links panel, we've immediately got warning messages against all of the images. And if we look at the images themselves within the document, you can see that little warning message, that little icon in the upper left corner. And you can see that on all of the other images as well. Okay, so let's uh, fix a couple of these one at a time, guys. And then I'll show you a nice, efficient way where you could potentially fix all of these broken links in one shot. So let's, uh, this first image just here, let's click on just once on the icon in the upper left corner. That will open up this dialog box, which is basically InDesign saying, hey, please point me to where this picture actually lives. So there's a little icon, a little option just here, guys. I'm going to turn that off and I'll revisit that in just a few minutes. That's that one where you can potentially repair everything in one shot. So again, that's just turned off for now. And from my desktop, images one. And remember, this thing's called sack of beans. So I just need to point to sack of beans, choose open. Has a quick think and fantastic. You can see within the links panel, that warning icon has disappeared and also within the image. So this is looking great. Oh, by the way, guys, you may think, hey, uh, these pictures look great. Surely everything is okay. Even the ones with the, uh, the warning icons. What you're actually seeing here is a low res preview. So if you actually had to, for example, export out a high quality PDF, you basically just couldn't do it. So if you see these warning icons, you do need to go and fix those, despite the fact that the image may look okay. Okay, so let's try and uh, go and fix our second one. So coffee pour, which is what this image is just down here. Now in the previous example, I just clicked on the icon on the picture itself. Let's now trigger that update from the uh, links panel itself. Now you can either double click on the icon just here, or having selected the uh, entry just here, there is a little relink icon just down there. So let's click on that. And again, this one here is called Coffee Pour. So image is one, Coffee Pour, let's choose open. And no big surprises there, it's relinked our file. Everything looks great here. And you can see it's updated the warning icon just over here telling us that everything is okay. Let's look at this next one just here. So this one here is uh, Cheers. And let's uh, actually double click on this icon just next to the entry within the links panel. So we'll double click this one just here. And then of course we are replacing the file cheers. We've selected it just here, but this time let's actually activate that option that I've alluded to previously, search for missing links in this folder. This is basically us giving InDesign permission to try and fix any other broken links by looking within this same folder. So again, we are just updating cheers, but we're also now telling it to try and fix everything else. Let's choose open. InDesign's having to think and check this out. It's telling us that not only has it fixed this broken link, but it's also found two other broken links. So if I now choose okay, and check out our links panel, no warning signs. And if we go for a scroll through our document, everything is fixed, fantastic. So let's just prove everything is okay. I'm just going to save and close this file. Let's open it back up. And sure enough, everything looks great. Alrighty guys, so that's our relinking broken links inside of InDesign. I hope that helps. Catch you later.